Thousands of school children break up for the summer today, so from tomorrow, motorways across the region will be full of holidaymakers. And getting the very latest information through to motorists is a key priority for the Highways Agency. Ben Sidwell reports. Every 20 minutes, 2020 travel, BBC Hereford and Worcester. 20 past eight, what's happening on the road to the two counties? Here's Tony MacDonald. It's a service many of us still heavily rely on. The latest travel news direct to our radios. But be warned, your problems are likely to be on the way home later on as a big getaway starts. In but while delays on the roads are nothing new, the way the travel information is collected is changing fast. At the National Traffic Control Centre in Quinton, their job is to monitor the motorways and attempt to keep any delays to a minimum. We rely on technology extensively right across the motorway network. We've got a series of um, inductive loops, that's electronic loops, under the carriageway. We've got automatic number recognition cameras that we use to get information on how fast traffic's moving. Uh, so therefore we can monitor the, uh, the roads uh, 24 hours every single day. If you see a problem, call us at 08000 725 200. Ahead of the rest, this is Gemma King with BBC Coventry and Warwickshire 2020 Travel. In the building behind the control centre, the staff at Traffic Link provide travel bulletins for radio stations across the country. Much of their information is now provided by commercial vehicles out on the roads. We've got a fleet of up to 80,000 vehicles which have actually got um, tags on them. So when they travel round um, on the motorway network, we actually can pick up where they are using um, GPS data, which means we can work out where the slow-moving traffic is and where the nice free-flowing traffic is as well. Of course, one thing technology can't help us with is roadworks. Next month, the West Midlands motorways will have 288 miles of them. But at least with the latest technology, you should be able to find out just how long it'll take to get through them all. Ben Sidwell, BBC Midlands Today, Quinton.